Hello and welcome to Cody Tries. This week, I brought out all my ukuleles. I just got a brand new one in the mail and I'm very excited to show you guys. Now, the whole purpose of this video will be for any beginner uke player or even an intermediate uke player to just see their options of brands or different styles of ukulele just to uh, decide what they want to purchase. Now, the cheapest ukulele that I own is this Makala. I call it the campfire uke. It's a good one to just bring out and you can use it wherever you want. And you don't have to be incredibly worried about harming it in any way. Like, I actually have dropped it once and have a chip out of it, which I was not happy about at the time. And it still works great. And I just wanted to give you a little demonstration of how it sounds. So here's an easy chord progression, which is C, G, D minor, F. Now the sound is pretty nice. It's got, it's very resonant and it definitely gets the job done for singing along, it's nice and loud, so you can actually have something to accompany yourself when you're playing a song, which is really nice. I also want to show you the next one, which is kind of an upgraded version. It's a Luna. Now this one is probably one of the prettiest ukuleles I've ever seen. It's got uh, mother of pearl inlaid in the board, which is pretty darn awesome. And it's got more just strewn throughout. To, it's got waves. It's just really pretty. And it sounds great also. I think of it as a step up from the Makala. And it's my, it's my favorite ukulele to play when I record except uh, it might be topped by the next one that I'm gonna show you, but I'll have to see what you think. So here's the same chord progression, C, G, D minor, F. Just to give you a, a good comparison. Now, this one resonates, it's still going. It resonates incredibly well. It stays in tune pretty well. I, uh, I find myself just kinda going with wherever it goes. So if it's a little flat or a little sharp, I just tend to tune it up to how it's sounding at the time. And it's, it's pretty good. I, uh, this is the one that I really learned to play ukulele on. It got me more into it because it was a better instrument and it was easier to play. The Makala, it's a little more difficult to press down on the strings. Now, this one just has an ease when you play it and it sounds great and I once again use it in pretty much all of the recordings I've done. Now, the last ukulele I wanted to show off is brandy new and it's an acoustic electric and it's a fender. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Now it's got a built-in tuner, it's got the guitar port for the cord and you can plug it right into any speaker and I will show you how it sounds plugged in, but first I wanted to give you an example of the acoustic side, because it's an acoustic electric. Now, here's the same progression again. C, G, D minor, F. Now, 
when I first got this, the acoustic sounded almost muted to me because it's got a thicker body, it's a little heftier than the others, and I didn't think it really resonated as much. But now that I'm playing it out here, it pretty much sounds comparable to at least the Makala when it comes to acoustic, which I'm very happy with because I want to be able to play it acoustic or electric and have it sound good. And I think it rings out pretty well. Now, I really enjoy how the tuners are all on the side like this, kind of like a bass guitar. And it's got a cutout for when you go up to the higher notes. So I'm gonna have to start learning how to actually do some finger picking and that's gonna take some time because my fingers are a little slow. I'm more of a singer than a ukulele player. But I really, really like this instrument and I can't wait to get better with it. And the built-in tuner is incredibly useful because it's just gonna keep me honest and I actually used this before the video to tune up the other two ukes. Honestly, it's made me so excited to keep learning and keep playing because when I plug this in, you're gonna be amazed. I was amazed. It gives a depth to it, which I really, really like. And I'm gonna be able to jam with my brother and my cousin a lot more instead of playing the uke quietly behind when they're plugged in with their guitar and Luke's got his drum set. So this will be able to help me keep up with them, which is really nice. Because normally I just have the microphone and I sing with them and kind of just strum along quietly in the background. But I think I'll actually be able to do some cool stuff with this puppy. And yes, I am injured. I, I, uh, I just had knee surgery last Wednesday and I got my meniscus fixed. They had to sew it all back together because I had a bucket tear. And I had done the same thing 11 years ago, but I don't really learn unless uh, things keep happening. So hopefully I'll learn this time to be more careful. But yeah, I'll hobble on inside with my crutches. Oh, and one last important feature. Uh, I made a pocket for my crutches. My wallet's actually in here. So if I get mugged, hopefully they don't take my crutches. <laughs> Hi again. I have my fender plugged on in to my new little amp that I bought with it. Now this is a honey tone and for being so small, and it's small enough to fit on a belt clip. I might have to try that out, but since I can't really stand, I'm not supposed to put weight on my knee. I might just skip that for now, but here, why don't you just listen, see how it sounds. Now this is the same progression again. I won't tell you again, because you probably already know, but repetition is key, I guess, for practice. Now that's just with the volume up, and uh, I think it sounds pretty darn nice, but here is more of the rocker version. Turn up the drive. Turn it down a tiny bit. I guess I should turn down the volume. If I'm turning up the drive, I should turn down the volume so it'll work better. Because it is a little one. It's a little amp. I have bigger ones inside, but I thought I'd just bring this puppy out and see how it sounds. Because this will be the one I use on the street when I'm busking. It's really fun to play. The electric ukulele is awesome. Now, this is actually a Fender Fullerton model. 
It's a Telecaster. And it's just so nice to look at and so nice to play. I don't know which one I like more. I think I'm gonna have to play this one more to see if I like this or if I like the Luna better. But out of the three, I'd say probably the best to start learning and at a good, like decent budget would be the Makala because it's still a good ukulele and I still have used it in videos before and it sounds pretty good but the I'm gonna say it's a tie for first between the Luna and the Fender right now but I got a feeling the more I play the Fender the more I'm gonna like it so it might take first place please like comment and subscribe or just uh, share the video so I can get more views because I definitely want to make more videos and keep pumping out material and I'm gonna be super bored without being able to walk for the next three weeks so I'm gonna see if I can get some videos pumping out ask my brother to help me because he's back in town which is awesome I'm really happy that Luke's back and yeah I can't wait to jam with him and my cousin Connor and you remember Connor and he's a champ so being able to play kind of a comparable instrument along with him will be super cool but anyway thank you very much for watching have a good one